Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm Dan. This is the eighth round of the Pauper Gauntlet. It could very well be the last round of the Pauper Gauntlet. Turbo Kitty 3000, or anyone who knows him, if uh, you want to change the sideboard. Uh, you are the only one with the power to do so. And give me a sideboard plan. But I did get the sideboard plan because yesterday we did a competitive Poppycast episode 10, and we talked to Dromar X who actually provided a full cyber plan in the podcast. So I now have his cyber plan. Uh, Power T has also been playing this deck. So I do have a cyber plan from him. So I feel quite well prepared here, but we do have some weird cards in the sideboard as long as Turbo Kitty, as the brewer, doesn't change the deck. I won't give away what happened to Trix, but... Um, only tricks and Boris Kitty remains in round 8. So if both decks win or if both the deck, decks lose, then we move on to round 9, which will start on Monday, uh, the 21st of October 2013. But if either deck wins and the other loses, the Pauper Gauntlet is over. The Pauper Gauntlet will return in July 2014 and there will be a standard Pauper Gauntlet in February. But this, my friends, could be the very last match of the Pauper Gauntlet. Of the inaugural season of the Pauper Gauntlet. Uh, this deck has surprised quite a few people. It is producing results in dailies now as I thought it would. Uh, it is uh, much more well known than uh, Trix. I have played uh, seven matches, of course, defeating Trinket, Infect, Tortured Trinket, Slivers, MBC, Boros Kitty, and Celestia Sigil of the Nyan Gods. I have also played practice matches with this deck. I am now 16 3 with the deck. Having lost only to Hexproof, Infect and Stompy, Hexproof is the worst matchup possible. So this is me entering round 8 of the Pauper Gauntlet. And I really, really, really want to win this. Fiction J we are is the sharpshooter that could end the Gauntlet. This is not the best of hands. But we will grind anyway. Don't want a mulligan, and we will of course go for the uh, crossroads. Um, Dromar X told us that black control decks were a problem. But he might be stinkweed zombies or something like that. We are in the practice room after all. Otherwise I will just try to grind value. Uh, yeah, something is up. Golgari Signet. Yeah, sweet value. Okay, what's what's happening with Golgari Signet today? Uh, he's playing an additional land. That's uh, interesting. What land might that be? Not an Ursa land. My confidence is growing. I have to discard something, and I think I will discard the rebirth here. Oh. Hmm. So, Glintalk. Get back Prisp. Play Prisp. Yes. And now I'm missing that uh, rebirth a lot for the Gargoyle. I should have thrown away the Gargoyle, right? So next turn I'll probably play Drown in Filth. So you could actually survive this. Wow. 
That wasn't very good, was it? Hmm, that rebirth would have been nice, wouldn't it? Skyfisher for Prisp. Play Prisp. 10 damage in hand is pretty good. If I get the discard again, oh, 13 damage. That's one point from lethal. Crows and Tusk recycled. Smells like a tortured. Uh, Power T has three uh, relics in his sideboard against graveyard stuff, but I don't have anything about against graveyard stuff. But I haven't seen a tortured existence yet. It definitely looks like tortured existence. Wow, I remember that guy put. Three cards from Gayard. Okay, so he can become a 6 6, which is entirely irrelevant here. So we just hit him hard then. And set up the win next turn. By playing Wellspring. And Prisp. Three cards from Gaiman bottom of the library. Well, doesn't seem very good, does it? Well, it's a 6 6 guy. That's gonna hurt. I'm uh, happy he can only do it once per turn. The Ravens crimes me, and this time it is. The gargoyle. And the ancient den. And uh, one of the lightning bolts. This will hurt. I, I now have barely enough to kill him. But I do have enough to kill him. I don't need to do it end of turn though, right? I have metal craft. It feels like some random life gain. That will save him. Okay, so we are doing stuff in the grid. <laughs> well, one of the points of the Proper Gauntlet was to uh, make these matches relevant, that people could not do that to me. And uh, so, by the rules of the Proper Gauntlet, Boris Kitty advances to the next round. And that round will be... Uh, it will be a very special round. No, it will be a couple of rounds. We will play... I don't remember what I said now, but I think I'll play round 8 to 14. Uh, or round 9 to 14, so we'll play 6 rounds. Uh, until there is a winner, so there will probably be a winner. And round 9 begins on Monday the 21st. After the article has been published on Pure Empty Joe. Uh, maybe even on Tuesday. Not sure, I'm playing a standard proper tournament during the evening. It depends on when they publish it will probably be on Monday. Thank you for watching.